Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learnetics. Today we will see how to install Apache Cassandra on multiple nodes into single data center cluster. What I am going to do before jumping to the installation, let me tell you a few things that I divided this entire tutorial into three to four sessions. Okay, why just because it will be so easy to understand for each and everyone who is who means who are not from Linux side or means who don't know about Linux and who don't know how to use uh, particular configuration just because I'm going to touch each and every single parts of the uh, of the virtual machine as well as any uh, means all installation process so just be with me till end of the all the sessions okay all the sessions will become as the mark as one two three four like this part number okay so if you're getting any problem into that please don't forget to comment down into the video okay so let's start in my, my first part into which i'm going to do my virtual machine setup okay so before uh, downloading anything let me tell you that what is the required software which need entire this process so first thing is Oracle virtual box second thing is CentOS iOS third thing is uh, SSL client uh, here you can use either mobile stream or either Excel I'm going to use mobile stream if you have Excel then no problem okay but I will recommend to try to use free edition okay and the last thing is Apache Cassandra which we will download from the uh, particular websites so in the red color I put down all the particular link which by which we are going to download each and every software okay so let's start just go and open the virtual box machine just click right now I'm going to install into my my uh, window host machine so just click on Windows host I'm not going to download the software just because I downloaded it already. So just cancel it into the next window. Click on DVD ASO. And you are getting so many things. Just click on the first link. It is automatically 4 GB software. I also type mobile stream. Click on the first one. Click on download. Just here you are able to see for the home edition, and here again you are getting one forever edition and one the installer edition. Just click on edition. It will come into the, into the zip format. I also downloaded that one before, so just cancel it right now. And suppose if you are not, you also a very good uh, SSH cell. So just click download. Okay, you're getting to download in link. So just click any of one. So just click first one. Just click on download Cassandra. Click on the on to the first link, which is the to install it. Click run. Click next, and just go default during the uh, installation of virtual Oracle Virtual Box. So just click next. Here, just no need to uh, worry about anything. Just click next. You are getting one network interface warning. Okay, if you are, if you don't want to read it. Let me tell you what exactly during installation Oracle Virtual Machine means Oracle Virtual Box will check the ports and all the things so it will disconnect maybe disconnect your uh, connection network connection for partially time so no need to worry just click yes install after that click finish so this is your virtual box manager what you have to do So this is your 
uh, electron virtual box uh, machine installation. Uh, so it is very simple. So let's go to the next step. Okay. One more thing, you have to ask your network administrator to provide you like uh, if you are if you want to install three uh, three node cluster or four node cluster, you have to ask your network administrator that please give me three different different IP address by which you have to uh, use that particular net, uh, IP address into the further use. Okay, so we are going to set a virtual machine. Okay, so just go to the virtual machine. Click no. Here you have to give the name. So for purpose, this is my first server. So I'm giving server one. And then click select Linux. The version select Linux 64 bit. Click next. Okay. Here you have to assign the RAM of your system. RAM is you have to provide at least one GB of RAM. But whatever RAM you are providing, it also depends upon your system. Okay. In my Currently laptop I have uh, 12 GB of RAM so I am going to provide here 1.5 GB of RAM to S0 is that my recommendation if you, you have to use at least 1 GB of the RAM so click next just by default click create VDI and click next here you are getting two options dynamically allocated and fully allocated this is So this is your uh, server one which is created. Okay. Setting, just setting, no need to change into, into advanced description interest, no need to change anything. And system, just click and check on the floppy and go to processor leave it like that. So if your system has a multi processor, then you have to assign multi processor. But if you're not having multi processor, so no need to worry, just leave it. Okay, in the display, just be default. The storage here, as, uh, if you assign during the uh, creation of your virtual machine, you assign the name SD01. Go to audio. I'm, audio because I'm, uh, I'm not going to use any audio system and all the things. Here we have to pretend some. session uh, that is enough for for this session okay uh, in the same way you have to repeat the entire session and you have to create server 2 server 3 server 4 server 5 like that uh, the number of server uh, the number of machine uh, which is equal to the number of nodes let me show you okay this is done so here i'm i already told you that uh, you have options like VM you are having three you are going you are having three nodes so you have to create created VM1 and server one so server two server three as like that only you have to change the name till now okay. will be the same is equal to equal and equal okay so see you into the next session of uh, this installation till that please create your all uh, n number of server and get ready with the next video please don't forget to subscribe my channel for the next session and to getting update of uh, all the technical video as well as please comment down 
down if you are getting any issue till now into this video as well as please share with other thanks